transporting the victim. We have ambulances standing by at Lakeside Marina. A busy summer for Lake Tahoe emergency crews who have gone on a record number of search and rescue missions, finding a record number of victims. Beneath the shimmering surface of Lake Tahoe, one of the most beautiful and pristine lakes in the world, lies a hidden and unsettling geological secret. While most visitors are entranced by the lake's clear blue waters, the surrounding snow-capped mountains, and the towering pine trees, there's something far more troubling happening beneath the waterline, something that could spell disaster if not properly understood and monitored. Scientists have discovered a web of fault lines running under the lake, some of which may be capable of triggering a catastrophic earthquake potentially transforming this stunning destination into the epicenter of a seismic nightmare. Lake Tahoe, a natural wonder straddling the California-Nevada border, is not only the 10th deepest lake in the world, but it also sits atop one of the most geologically active regions in the United States. Over millions of years, the Sierra Nevada mountain range rose from a shallow sea, creating the basin in which the lake sits today. This basin was formed when tectonic forces caused the land to collapse on the eastern side of the Sierra, and lava sealed off the northern end, forming the lake. While its formation was millions of years in the making, the forces beneath it have never stopped working. Mountains, though, are rarely made of solid rock. They are often broken up by fault lines, fractures in the Earth's crust, where massive amounts of energy can accumulate, ready to be released in violent bursts. Lake Tahoe's basin is surrounded by several active fault lines, three of which are particularly concerning to scientists today. These submerged fault lines, hidden beneath the water, and covered by layers of sediment, rock, and glacial deposits have only recently been revealed through cutting-edge imaging technologies. The most prominent fault zones, located near State Line Point and extending through Incline Village, are thought to be capable of generating significant seismic activity. The fault beneath the northern portion of Lake Tahoe is the most tectonically active, making it a particular focus of the Nevada Seismological Laboratory. These faults have the potential to cause earthquakes capable of triggering secondary disasters such as landslides, massive waves and even the dreaded tsunami. The new information tonight about a series of earthquakes, at least five earthquakes reported on Lake Tahoe. People felt shaking in both Nevada and California, with at least one person saying they felt it as far away as Pollock Pines. Well, you can see the biggest quake, a 3.8 magnitude, struck right in the middle of Lake Tahoe. And the USGS says the epicenter on the lake was about a mile and a quarter deep. Tonight, we can confirm there are no reports of damage. In the worst case scenario, a major earthquake along one of these fault lines could trigger a massive tsunami, with waves reaching up to 30 feet, capable of flooding the shoreline and wreaking havoc on nearby towns and communities. While Mount Spur, located thousands of miles away in Alaska, may seem like the more immediate volcanic threat, Lake Tahoe's underwater faults pose a far more localized and tangible danger. The seismic activity detected beneath the lake has been ongoing, with frequent small volcanic earthquakes detected since October 2024. Although scientists have not observed any major changes recently, they continue to monitor the area closely, recognizing that the threat of a catastrophic eruption or earthquake remains ever-present. There's a growing concern about the potential for a magnitude 7 earthquake in the next 50 years, with scientists estimating the risk at 3-4%. to While the likelihood of such an event remains low, the consequences of a significant seismic event beneath Lake Tahoe would be catastrophic. Not only would it send shockwaves across the region, but it could also severely impact air travel and disrupt local economies. Just imagine the massive disruption to both local infrastructure and the global travel system if ash or volcanic gases were released into the atmosphere, forcing authorities to close airports and cancel flights. The risks posed by Lake Tahoe's geological instability are not entirely new. For years, experts have warned that a major earthquake could strike the region, but the mystery of the lake's faults has only deepened with the discovery discovery of the new fault lines. The next eruption or earthquake could come without warning, leaving little time for the surrounding communities to react. While scientists have yet to come to a definitive conclusion about the scale of danger beneath Lake Tahoe, one thing is clear. A disaster is coming, and it could strike at any moment. Scientists, emergency response teams, and local governments are working together to monitor the situation. But there's no way to fully predict when or how the next major seismic event will occur. What makes Lake Tahoe's situation 
particularly dangerous is its relative remoteness from larger urban centers. While Yellowstone is closely monitored and studied due to its history of supervolcanic eruptions, Lake Tahoe's hidden danger lies in its lack of preparedness and awareness, compounded by a general lack of public knowledge about the region's seismic activity. To make matters worse, much of the area surrounding Lake Tahoe has been developed, with hotels, ski resorts, and vacation homes stretching across the shoreline. The increasing human presence in the area has only added to the potential risk. More people means more development and more potential victims should a disaster strike. But perhaps what is most unsettling is the fact that the area's faults have been largely ignored for years, despite their potential to wreak havoc. In a region that is constantly changing, from rising mountains to shifting tectonic plates, the earthquake-prone area beneath Lake Tahoe remains a time bomb, just waiting for the right moment to explode. A cluster of earthquakes, uh that we saw in the morning, one of uh, which was a magnitude 4.2 uh, near uh, Dollar Point in the middle of Lake Tahoe. Um, these earthquakes are all just basically the business as usual. The events that we see happening normally, uh, we have 50 earthquakes a day in California and some of them are bigger than others. Many of them, most of them are very small. Um, every once in a while we get one that's a little bit bigger than the others, but this is basic run-of-the-mill activity in, in the region. Experts may continue to monitor the lake's fault lines, but there's no way to predict when or if disaster will strike. For now, all we can do is wait and hope that the signs of seismic unrest remain manageable. But Lake Tahoe, once considered a picture-perfect paradise, is beginning to reveal the harsh reality lurking just beneath its surface. Memorial Day visitors to Tahoe shouldn't have anything to worry about. Memorial Day to visit visitors to Tahoe should know if they feel shaking from an earthquake, they should take a proper protective action, drop cover and hold on. We need to uh, be ready for earthquakes no matter what. So it's a matter of knowing what to do. I mean, no matter where you might be, there could be an earthquake. Uh, I live in Southern California. Uh, I'm with experts calling for better preparation, education, and a more robust emergency response plan, there's a hope that when the time comes, the region will be ready to face the inevitable consequences of the fault lines that lie beneath. In the meantime, Lake Tahoe remains one of the most hauntingly beautiful and most dangerous natural wonders of the American West. As we continue to monitor the growing seismic activity beneath Lake Tahoe, it's clear that we're living in a time of unpredictability. While the immediate risk of an eruption or catastrophic earthquake may still Still seem low, the potential consequences of such an event could be disastrous. With the lake's beauty hiding a dangerous geological reality, we must ask ourselves, are we doing enough to prepare for the worst case scenario? Could more be done to raise awareness and ensure the safety of those who live and visit in the area? What are your thoughts on the risks surrounding Lake Tahoe, and how do you think we should prepare for potential disasters? Share your opinions in the comments below. Let's get the discussion going. And if you found this information insightful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel Channel for more updates and in-depth discussions on natural disasters and the fascinating forces beneath our feet. Stay informed and stay safe.